Hey folks, Dave Stahl here out at Lindo Lake. Man, have I got a fun little car for you. Subaru BRZ. This is the uh, TS, which is a special model. Boxer motor, six-speed manual. My heart pitter patch every time I drive this car. Brembo brakes. This is really a, like a little race car. Now, the only thing that a lot of the Subaru folks complain about is no turbocharger, no supercharger. All normally aspirated, 228 horsepower, 184 foot-pounds of torque. But you know, if you once you get in it and you drive it, it's really a driver's car. You know, it really is. It's got all the things that you would want. It's got uh, the blacked out mirrors, blacked out wheels. The color on this is sapphire blue pearl, which is absolutely beautiful. It's got a back seat. It's a little on the tight side. You can fold the seat down, adds for uh, extra storage. But, uh, you know, it, it is a Subaru, and that's the beautiful thing about it. You got uh, suspension's been totally reworked on it for better cornering and handling. And, you know, and that's really what this car is all about. And if you'll notice, we have a car show going by, which is always cool because you just never know what you're going to see. Um, also, what you've got with the Subaru, you've got, uh, you know, the upgraded brakes with Brembo. Because even though it's only got 228 horsepower, it still needs to stop on a dime and give you nine cents change. Eyesight drive with a six-speed manual. That's pretty new for this particular car. Uh, you've got aluminum pedals, strut bars. We'll look at that under the hood here shortly. 18-inch alloys. Heated front seats. We don't need it right now, but we have in the past. You've got Subaru Starlink. And the TS is what you get with that when you order this car, is you do get the STI tuned suspension with Hitachi dampeners. You get Brembo brakes, 18 inch uh, dark, dark gray wheels, and then of course blue stitching on the inside. You're looking at a base price of 35,345. No options. It is what it is. Freight's 1120, so you're looking at 36,465. Fuel mileage is awesome. 21 city, 30 highway if you keep your foot out of it. So you can find out more at Subaru.com. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little walk around. We'll get under the hood. We'll get into the trunk and we'll show you that it does have some good trunk space and a whole lot more. All right, folks, now we're underneath the hood. You're looking at the Boxer motor, 228 horsepower. Our uh, red line's at 7,000 RPM. The truss bars I was talking about, let me just point them out, are these two guys right here. Puts added rigid, uh, rigidity in the car for better cornering, better handling, custom strut towers. Now, this is basically what, what you're looking at when they call it the boxer because the pistons move left and right, not up and down. Uh, great front end. It's got your you know, little signage right here. you got your air inducts which are functional to help keep those brakes clean, uh, cool. You know, and that's one thing about Subaru, they do keep it functional. So if you look in, in tours, what you've got here, and by the way, you can also see the outlet for the braking as well on the fenders, which is always really nice. Uh, nice blue stitching in the seats. It's got uh, kind of like a ultra suede seats, very comfortable. Doors open up quite wide, you know, really. Got all your controls on the doors. Great dash layout. Does not have a phone charger. And I'm just going to bring that up. No sunroof, which I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, the six-speed, by the way, is extremely smooth. Trunk's got plenty of room inside. A little free publicity for the Texas legend Jim Hall in the Chaparral car. That's a great book, and that's what I'm reading right now. So you've got that, which is really quite unique. Uh, and then, of course, they got this little, little whale tail on the back, which is somewhat functional. So when you close her all up, she's really got a great look. Now, if you're sitting at home and you're saying, why does that car look familiar? Well, because Toyota partnered with Subaru and they have what they call the 86. And there's a lot of similarities. But really, when you drive them both, they're not as similar as you would think. So if you want my opinion, go drive them both. Make a decision, because if you're not smiling what you're driving, you need to get out of it. All right, we'll talk to you more down the road.